fucking time since I've done one of these. In fact, I've done uh, a few of them. But they were all lame and didn't make it up, so... I'm starting to fill up a hard drive with uh, me chatting away and then watching it later and wondering what the fuck I was on about. park downtown anymore so I don't drive into work and taking the bus which is totally lame not a good thing to do if you're at all a car guy taking the bus into work is just wrong you know I mean yeah the environment yeah it's cheaper but it, it makes no sense in all other respects. I'm really only doing it for the price of it. I don't claim to be trying to save the environment. I've got too many V8s in my life for that. But I do admire the environment, as you can tell by the uh, nature videos and whatnot, so I should be... Uh, should be more on top of that, I suppose. Everybody's a bit of a contradiction, really. Speaking of those nature videos, I know that that's kind of all it has been for a while, but uh, I typically will try to do something until I start to feel uh, competent. And regrettably, I don't feel the competency yet, so <laughs> I'm just trying to get a handle on. Um, I mean, this is a totally different type of filming here. I just for this, I just put you up there, and it's done, right? The nature videos are not done on a GoPro; they're done on my Canon. <clears throat> and after the fact, they take they take time to process and make something watchable. So it's a it's more technically in depth, in depth to do this stuff, the nature stuff. Even though I'm not spending more time on it than I should. I tried not, I tried never to, uh, well, I tried never to waste time in the production even of a video that I want to look all fancy. I still try to do it fairly quick and dirty. I mentioned it last time I was here, although I don't know if it ever made it to a movie. Right around here, there's a uh, 64 Chrysler. I think it's a two-door. And it's just kind of rusting away. But it's exactly the same as the 64 that I had, except mine was a sedan. Oh, it's not there anymore. I sold the Chrysler. Unless that was the wrong house. Pretty sure that was it. This would just be sitting in the yard. Oh well. I wasn't gonna buy it. Those are the only two I knew of on the island though. Like they have a very distinct style. In the States they were Newports. In Canada they were called Windsors. Newports in Canada as well, but that would have been different years. Ooh, there's a 1949 Ford truck though. That's cool. 4950. Just like Peter's 86, 85, 86, Firebird. 